are better ways to keep cool. Call KS Services and receive a new Bryant unit with no payments and no interest for 18 months. Stay cool now and pay later. Visit callks.com for more. Here's your weather video for this Sunday, January the 3rd. I'm meteorologist Bill Murray. And uh, Happy New Year to you. Uh, it's going to be the parade of the upper troughs and the upper lows this week. A highly amplified pattern across North America. As you can see here at 500 millibars, up at about 18,000 feet. You can see those um, deep upper troughs swinging across. But uh, going to be a quiet week and just not much moisture to work with. Uh, after uh, all the deeper moisture being scoured out by the um, uh, northwesterly flow starting today. This is noon today off the GFS showing uh, uh, improving conditions. We'll see, um, we'll see uh, a clearing sky uh, as the uh, atmosphere dries out across Alabama today. Uh, temperature's going to be in the, in the 50s, about where they should be for this time of year. Um, we'll see highs. Uh, upper 40s in the northeast part of the state, near 50 in the Tennessee Valley will be lower 50s around the I-20 quarter, middle 50s the further south you go um, after starting off in the middle 30s this morning. Um, and you'll see increasing sunshine as we go through the day. Um, I don't think we'll see, and it could be a gusty wind or two at times. Wind's been breezy all night tonight, uh, all night last night. Um, but um, you'll see clear skies uh, probably by sunset. should be a, um, a, some beautiful weather by then. We'll be chilly overnight tonight, dropping uh, to near freezing over about the northern third of the state, 30 to 35 degrees over the central part of Alabama. Um, as um, we enjoy fairly typical weather uh, for early January. Now, this is for uh, tomorrow. This is for Monday. Um, high pressure in charge. Um, temperatures will warm just a bit. Average highs uh, around 57 to 59 um, with uh, a good bit of sunshine and um, a, southwesterly, uh, a southwesterly wind setting in. Another system moving to our north uh, tomorrow night, uh, turning our winds back to the northwest. It'll be breezy again, but no sensible weather change out of that system. Uh, by Tuesday, that system's on by. There might be a few snow flurries and uh, smokies up through uh, western West, Western Virginia and West Virginia into Pennsylvania, but for Alabama, we'll be fine. Um, temperatures fall back a degree or two on Tuesday. Uh, by Wednesday, watching another system taking shape, fairly strong trough uh, moving out of the Rockies into the plains, uh, surface low. Uh, developing out there in the in the uh, northern plains, heading toward the Midwest, and um, you know, for here in Alabama, it's more of the same. Uh, we'll start off in the lower to middle 30s, uh, temperatures warming into the middle to upper 50s during the afternoon. Good supply of sunshine, but things will begin to change by late in the day into the overnight. We'll see increasing clouds, and um, that system will the upper low will be somewhere in southwestern Missouri by. Early Thursday morning, um, rain will have reached western parts of Alabama late Wednesday night, um, at least by sunrise on Thursday. This the model runs a little bit faster. So sometime late Wednesday night, early Thursday, and uh, probably a general soaking rain Thursday morning. Um, won't be any cooler, really. Uh, start off around 40, top off in the middle 50s during the day. That system will move on through, but that upper lows presence uh, we'll keep some showers in the forecast for North Alabama. Those thickness values fairly low, but I think we're okay here in terms of any kind of frozen precipitation. There will be snows in the Smokies uh, up into eastern Kentucky, West Virginia, West Western Virginia for sure. Um, as a secondary low forms off the uh, coast of North Carolina and gets ready to move up the coast, that's for Friday. Then by Saturday, we're back in high pressure. Um, and uh, be a little cooler than normal, just slightly. Um, lower 30s for morning lows and lower 50s for highs. Um, but by Sunday, another system quickly in that progressive high amplitude pattern, bringing back uh, showers our way by Sunday night um, into Monday. Now, you see some 
frozen precipitation there around Chattanooga, northern Georgia. We'll have to watch that. Some of that, according to the GFS, gets into northeast Alabama. We'll keep a close eye on that just in case the path of the low um, along the northern Gulf is more indicative of a potential winter event for us for as our snow lovers uh, know. Now it's moving to voodoo territory, the longer range part of the forecast. This is out Thursday the 14th, showing uh, surface low there over Lake Michigan, um, trailing cold front back into Alabama and Mississippi, showers, possibly some thunder with that system, but nothing that looks too especially strong. And then another system uh, is in here on Sunday night, 17th, early on Monday the 18th. Again, it doesn't look um, classically severe, so uh, and, and no winter precipitation, so we look okay from that standpoint. Temperatures off of uh, the National Blend of Models uh, show us hanging you know, a little warmer than normal uh, this coming week, but settling back to right at normal. Uh, and that's just almost perfectly normal there from, uh, you know, Friday the 8th all the way through Wednesday the 13th. You couldn't, uh, you couldn't cue it up any better. Uh, our normal high during this period is about 53. Our normal low, I think, is about 32. So we're just about exactly where we should be for early January. Well, that's your uh, weather video for this Sunday. January 3rd, I'll have notes on the blog and a forecast update coming up at noon. We'll tweak everything, keep you updated. James will be back next week for two a days. Scott will be here next Saturday. I'll see you next Sunday. And uh, until I get to see you at that time, as I always tell you, keep an eye to this guy because you'll always have something fun to look at. Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today.